Every time I'm in the streets, huh. I the gun go. You know, we back <laughs> episode one, ten. Listen, we talked about a whole lot of stuff. Welcome to the wholesome house, cold folks. First and foremost, you know, we love to have oh you. God. Shout out to all the the short kings out there. Listen, yeah, Fashion Nova got your back. You know what I'm saying? Get that we up. talked about a whole bunch of other stuff as well. <laughs> Shout out our guests. Yes. Can't wait for you all to enjoy this one. Episode one, ten, baby. Yeah. Ten, one, ten. I say this every episode. Oh, I want shoot. that in my host and host intro a little bit more frequently. That boy just. That intro. We ain't got to do the episode. I just need the intro occasionally. Oh, this Hell yeah, that shit fire. This is 110. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Three in a decade. You look like you was you. Yeah, I'm actually switching to see if we did the intro last week. I mean, it's gonna let me. By the time we're done. You were last week? I don't know. I feel like it was, but I don't know. I feel like it was me. Was it you? What'd you say? Do you remember? Nah, it wasn't me. It wasn't him? <laughs> Is that true? Did you do that? Did what? The beat, yeah. Oh, yeah, that means. The beat go off? The beat uh, went off. Open them. Go off? I want to go to that concert. That oh, G-Q. it is coming out, too. Yeah, GQ concert. Yeah. I mean. I don't know if it's safe, though. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I look intimidating enough for that environment. Oh, what do you? What, what would you go for? I guess. What do you mean? What I go for? To look and in, more, more intimidating for oh, the concert. Uh, I would just fold my arms the whole time, so the muscles flex a little bit. Where? Okay. Uh, not put lotion on. Uh, for sure. Gonna <laughs> be it, man. a little bit of ashiness just looks unhinged. Black. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. Mm. Wrinkled shirt. Wrinkled shirt, yeah, yeah. Wrinkled up, uh, like, uh, what's the the baby the baby shower shirt? Wrinkled oh, the Burberry, the Burberry, Burberry shirt. joint. Yeah, Heck no. throw some <laughs> throw some throw some trues Nobody's on. Nobody's messing with me. Wow. Ah, the trues trues might be. Uh, I mean, put on a fit at that point. Shoot. Hey, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's a concert. Y'all gonna, gonna be get, fitted up regardless. Y'all gonna get beat up. When you don't up the And then they are gonna throw a box of lotion on me. Nah, that's just stopping me out. Now that'd be Ask insane, boy. bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Should I do this purposely? To love yeah. Sosa. Uh, but yeah, right. I guess with that, I'll do the intro. Listen, welcome back again. to Wholesome House. If it's again, I don't know. Welcome back to Wholesome House, episode 110. Woo! I'm up. <laughs> what the, I don't know where y'all at, but I'm <laughs> up. One way or the other. Uh, this is March. Howdy. I'm feeling good. Uh, third month. This is the end of May. You'll see this in June, I feel like. Oh, wow, yeah. Um... I don't know what else to say, man. I'm turned up. I'm feeling good. It's going to be a great episode. Mm. And I'm wondering who else we got in the house. You know. Got Wavy J, Wave Master J in the building. You know what I'm saying? Mr. So, Dripper Drown. You, you already know the name, bro. The but, right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm feeling pretty good. Is that your water? It's my water. It's, oh. it's, it's not even mine. Mine's <laughs> they, they know that. in the they kitchen. Know that. Yeah. Not it's mine's in the kitchen somewhere, bro. But we always cooking up. You cooking. know what I'm saying? Hey. Every every new episode, man, one ten. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. We finna be one eleven. That's gonna be crazy. We're getting old. Angel actually. numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that was. The number I guess one we just, is, but I guess we just gonna go viral that day, huh? One eleven. It's bound coming to. soon. It's bound to. Maybe. No facts, but I will say too. Make sure you guys are tapping in with the Twitch. Oh, make sure you tap in to our YouTube. Hey, previous episodes. One oh nine was really good, bro. All, there we go. all of them real good, but you know what I'm saying. Um. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Continue t- tapping in, man. You know, we giving that good content, man. We we appreciate that yeah, good, good feedback. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also Benjamin Lane, the nonchalant, nonchalant needle mover. See, I was really trying to <laughs> trying to get up because cause Troy was coming. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I'm sorry. I was trying to get upper R. I. P. to him. I was trying to get as uppity <laughs> as I could possibly get because I just want to win. Uh, that's there how I'm feeling go. today. So, uh, yeah, shout out to it being June when y'all are listening. We really in the thick of summer right now. So, Bro. you know, I'm uh, a... <laughs> I'm activated, but who else we got? Uh, Z Breeze here, man. The end of May is such a sad time. What a oh great month. Right. Hey, just shout out to me, man, for really kicking off, you know, the summer. Everybody be acting like summer starts around May, May 20 something. I'm like, that's still spring. Yeah, after, after hey, give give right. spring its, it's time. Bro. Spring could be a great time of the year, too. Uh-huh, but uh, yeah, excited today, man. I got some funny topics to talk about, man. Yeah. Shout out to Ashton Some not funny topics. <laughs> uh, but yeah, last but not least, serious we got, topics. Uh, yeah, we got a special we guest here today. dense today. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Zipper, a.k.a. The Infinite, a.k.a. Stone Cold Steve Flosser. I like that, bro. 
fire. Like can we can we give it up one time for the for the rapper voice? That's that's what we were talking about. Funny enough, before we actually invited you on, we were literally just talking about you. Was it like two weeks last week? Two weeks ago. We recently were just saying that, like, you just have a very rapper voice. Like, we have said this before. Voice, For actually. real? Yeah. Yes, you do. I don't think. I, I don't think do so. You not get that? No you don't think so? That? I I get radio all the time. Okay. But okay. like rapper voice, I know so many rappers that got better voices than me. Really? I think okay. so. Who? Like, I feel like you have like a Larry June. Like you have a uh, tone. Like a. You know who? If we're ranking it, yeah. You know who I get compared to? I get the Larry June. All right. Yeah. There we go. But I've always, ever since like I started rapping. <laughs> I got Common. There we go. Okay. And, okay. I, and I get <laughs> Wiz Khalifa <laughs> to this day. Hmm. <laughs> to this day. I get Wiz, Wiz still. Okay. That's great, bro. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's congratulations. Good. Exactly. exactly. It could be worse. Yeah. Could I be mean, worse. I want to sound like myself, but they don't sound like I mean, I listen to them. I listen to them all the time. You yeah. Know? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who would you nice. not want to get? Like, what artists do you think? <laughs> if someone was just like, hey, man, you remind me of so and so keep going like if they're Ooh. like if it's positive you know like what's a voice he that did you just be like oh, i knew you were gonna say that i, I knew <laughs> given the time, 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 time yes i like <laughs> naturally I mean, my dad said i sound like mace though once i played him some music I that's like, funny i was like <laughs> what <laughs> somebody <laughs> told me j cole once they okay. and <laughs> nothing was wrong with it but it was more of just who it was coming from oh, and man. i was just like you think i'm too smart Context you don't you know what i'm saying like you That's think me? It's you a think, slur. You think we speak different languages? <laughs> <Right>. I mean, <laughs> okay. So we use big sentences. Oh yeah, Jacob. They say what you think? Right, you, exactly. you think you Lupe oh, Fiasco you or school. something? You went to Sorry. school, huh? Wow, bro. Yeah. All right, Jermaine. All right. You say, you say one word, but they immediately just be like, yeah, suburbs. I don't know. It just some of use too too many syllables in a word. They man, I, I don't like, know. I, That's more like, jid these days. To be honest, jid be. <laughs> It do with it do with the leads and I'm like, all right. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. lot. It's a lot. Dude, bro, we fitting a lot of words. Bro, we fitting a lot of words it's in very songs. impressive, but let's uh Bro, I remember that concert. He's up. The mm-hmm. second part of the Smino, I'm just like, bro, yeah, listen, raps. I appreciate you, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> there were people, bro. There were people like, there were people like that in person? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Bro, people were in the crowd just going songs. crazy. He's like really big on I'm surprised you haven't seen him live in any capacity. I haven't seen him in person. For a lot of people like like rappers and per, like I don't watch a lot of people perform on the internet unless I go past it like okay, I really yeah. much rather yeah. you know what I'm saying see him in person well so, Jid, is, Jid in particular is very like he's big on not rapping with like the track so like yeah. everything that he's rapping in the studio and on the songs like he literally just does that on stage which again very impressive but it's like, like if you've ever felt that for yeah. real but if you've ever felt that while listening to his music like alright this is kind of a lot you're gonna feel that at the concert for sure you'll feel that like tenfold and that was yeah. after watching Smino already yeah. okay. for yeah. at least an hour hour and oh, a half yeah. but yeah. It, it was really dope though and he's obviously very sure, talented sure. in what he does but I was just like but Shmino, oh, but Shmino will come through with that, yeah, with that good instrumentation. For we real. singing a little bit, you know. You know it's we, a little we, more. We, we vibing a bit, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, breathing. Exactly. Facts. You say breathing or grieving? Breathing. No oh. breathing, because you're just like, take yeah. Break, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if he, like, if shit, that dance bro. now came on. It's over. I would have been there the whole time. The you whole gonna just be song. humming. The Do y'all think num, Jay would have thrived in a different generation, like in a different era? Um. I feel like he'd be probably about, I mean, about the same, to be honest. Mm. I feel like he's just That'd you know somewhat of a niche actually. artist in general. I think across uh, generations and eras, there's people that like that that style of like actual technicality. But then there's also a lot of people that are just like, I just want something simple, simple to kind of like bop yeah. and rock to. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like he'd be about around this. Honestly, he might be a little bit smaller just because I do think the internet helps just connect because i think yeah. one of the things that has gotten him to this level is his connections and features like his imagine dragons feature obviously has done him wonders within yeah see look that man was uh i don't know i'm not an imagine dragons that's that's like his like to this day that's like one of his biggest songs pr- yeah like that's okay. his biggest credit you know so um that yeah. definitely expanded himself to a lot of different artists and i think in a different era that collaboration doesn't happen at all to be frank just because i think yeah i don't know i don't know if it's because because of the internet shout out, shout out Are you looking up for i don't know if it's because of uh, <laughs> the internet or the internet huh? era of like streaming and stuff that causes more connectivity amongst like music but yeah i feel like he might be a little bit smaller but probably around the same that's my my answer 
Got the it. song Enemy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never though. seen the song before. No. Ever in my I life, actually. I'm going to listen yeah. to it later, though. Am I? No, probably not. I like, the, I like <laughs> Imagine <laughs> Dragons. I ain't going to lie. They got a couple hits got some on hits. Disney Radio. Yeah, yeah. No, they got good music. You yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it would have just yeah. moved in like a, like a 2010s, like blog era type of um, kind of setting. I think like his type of sound and kind of like the type of people that he's kind of like his music reaches, I think people would have been real tapped in. Yeah, like I, I think he would have been big in the blog era, you know? Okay, yeah. For sure, for sure. Because I don't think it was nobody sounding like that back then. Not like know? that. Mm. And I feel like, you know, flows like that and stuff like that was stuff I would be... Who was sounding like Jid I don't back think in 2011? I don't think he sounds Kendrick. like that, but I was going to say, I think Jid has a lot of elements of Lil Wayne and Kendrick uh, in terms of vocal, like actual sonically, but also like flow. I think he just takes a lot from... You know, inspiration, but yeah, but he he just does it at such like a high level, and I think that's just one thing that really sets him apart. But um, there was if if there was any room for comparison to other artists, I will agree it was definitely very few uh, in that era. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I know somebody said something about Eminem. I just said whenever whenever Eminem was his biggest that time span of time, I would put Jid equally in that same time span, and I think that he would perform. Okay, well. If we take, you know, obviously racial biases and stuff out of it at the point in time in the United States, but now remember when they was doing verses and stuff? Who, who do y'all think is an even match for M? for Eminem? Think about it. I only got one possible answer. What do we mean by even match? Do you mean like, like battle because could actually hold or their verses own, like probably. song for song yeah. or just like who? Lil Wayne. You think Lil Wayne and Eminem would go back back to back? Like I think Lil Wayne could go against like a Drake or like Definitely. a Kanye. Kanye yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as just like 50? hits, maybe fifty. But uh, I'm thinking and they're in a similar camp. I'm, 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 I'm thinking of like technical rapping as well. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like they kind of can, they kind of do the same thing, but a, but in a different way. You know, gotcha. I think it's Busta Rhymes. I thought you were gonna say mm. Twista when you started going for like a technical. I can I, see Busta. I, I mean, I think Busta Rhymes the only one that could do a versus with Eminem okay. as far as like them doing similar things. Yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying. Yeah, I would enjoy that versus the earlier the works to like the more recent stuff. Like you look at like um, even uh, what was that uh, Leaders of the New School. Um, like some of that early stuff, like scenario, like with a tribe called Quest, but even moving into like a look at me now, like a Chris Brown or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where he was doing the super fast flow. Yeah. That's like, that's what good. I wouldn't even thought. That is that is pretty tight. Yeah, but like Lil Wayne, no, because like Lil Wayne, I don't know what the heck kicked in with Lil Wayne, but he is such he can get technical like a mug now. You know what I'm saying? Like he can do that Eminem stuff. Mm-hmm. C A R. C A R T E R, put the B in E R. Watch me like D V D V C R. Yeah, I was like young as ever. I was like, y'all wasn't hearing him. I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I was like, there's, a, there's no sailors. I don't know, man. I was like, this pretty, this pretty crazy. <laughs> I was in like fifth, sixth grade. Like, wow, bro, my mind is totally blown. Mm. What's what? that? What's that song that got the fire album? I mean, it's like Carter Two. I'm talking about Fireman. Fireman. No, it's um, the, the block is hot. The cover of the song is like literally a flame, or it might be a single. A flame. It's like seven minutes long, like six minutes long. And he just like rapping very technically the entire time. Like he's he going crazy. Know, like yes. Nightmares at the bottom. I don't know. I can't Wayne. think of like the yeah, it's Wayne. The cover. and it's like it's like 2014 or later. It's not that early. It's nothing close to like the time period that y'all was pulling from. It's like I don't know. It sounds like you made it up. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> to look it up. I that might be uh, off of just YouTube or something. I don't know. But even uh, that was a cipher. Y'all heard "Seeing Green"? Seeing Green, yeah, yeah. Oh, by Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say Wayne verse in their heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no facts. He, he got some. He got some hard verses. Did bro. you find it? I didn't, find even, it? I didn't even look yet. Oh, okay. I don't know if it was the Free Weezy yeah, yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, that is FWA. A, 
Free Weezy album. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Which song was it? Glory? Yeah. I think oh, it was Glory. Yeah. Glory yeah. is so hard. That was a bang. That was a bang. I'll have to check it out. I remember that's a, that album was like a title exclusive. Oh, it is. When it first came out. It was a bunch of fire. Then. Yeah, I'm saying, you see? Y'all that's what I thought you were talking about, bro, but you said song. That's and I was like, there's yeah. an album that got the flame yeah. on it, but... Oh, that's what I was good. We was like, we in the we in, we in the same page, exactly. bro. Yeah, all some rap historians. There you go. <laughs> man, man, I, I know about I know about Lil Wayne, bro. My man, onto the real first. Topic I was gonna say the, like we just kind of that, that, but onto yeah. the real first topic of the day. Let's get into the hard hitting journalism now. <laughs> so you know, like, me personally, I've never had to need this, you know, because I just oh. barely made the cut random disclaimer. Wow. You know what I'm saying, but. Being the tallest uh, fashion over, hand. you know, what I'm saying they really cater into the male audience. Finally, getting us, you know, what I'm saying some low cost items to you know <laughs> up our game. You know, what I'm saying girls be getting these carts for five hundred, six hundred dollars. They got a thousand outfits in there. It's, man, six hundred dollars get us three pairs of jeans, two shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so they finally like, cater into the men, specifically right. the short man. So I don't the short man. Hey, <sighs> go on they uh go on their website. You gonna see these. Wedges, um, these wedges, man. They're, they're called um, <laughs> height increasing insoles or something like that. Yeah. But long story short, it's pretty much like a little wedge you put inside your shoe. Mm-hmm. Nobody can see it, real discreet, kind of like having like the uh, the fake boob, like uh, whatever. Like I don't know, I don't shop for bras. Girls, you put padding in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's it's like male padding. It's like push up, push up bras. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It's yeah, like yeah, it's like yeah. the push up bra of shoes, but you put it in there. You know, I'm saying it add. Uh, one to three inches to your height. So you know, if you're trying to be, you know, looking a little, you know, more lengthy for the ladies, you know, what I'm saying yeah. this is an option for you. So. Did, did they say like the maximum? Like, what's the actual max height? Uh, like, are there several several uh, classes or are there sizes? Tiers to this? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. is it like a, you could just do a, like a one incher, or I could no, do so like a probably, six. I, I really couldn't tell you, but it, the point of it is to be discreet. So anything that would make yeah, your heel like look three. physically out of your shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Anything after three, I feel like it would be not possible to keep your foot inside the shoe. Right, right, right. So, yeah. So you only can go up maybe like three inches. You know, you five, seven, boom, you five, ten. You Bam. Know what I'm Imagine how much help. How different life looks. Seven to ten is souls forever. Hey, that's yeah. uh, it. Say one to two inches on the website. Damn. All right. All right. How much? Is, how only much is it? I got, for okay. a friend. I got a couple. Four forty nine. Four forty nine for two inches. Not four, even not four even dollars. dollars. Not even five dollars for two, two inches? inches. I feel like that I might got change your rate. That naturally do that on accident. You know right. that wasn't even the goal, but you know something. And imagine if Air Max soles put, put it in the Tims. Those with the soles. Put it in the Tims. Not yeah, that's four. Crazy. But it's like you. it work until. You gotta take your shoes off. Yeah, that's what know? I'm saying. Don't go to the beach. You put them in your socks. Nah, your socks yeah. your foot. <laughs> your foot. Feet gonna be crazy. looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the I, heck? I told you my feet was ugly. Why you looking yeah, at them? Right. You judging me? It's like your feet don't even look like feet. <laughs> I Man. stand up at work all day. You know, they Dog. stay a little swollen or something. They were talking about the AVNs uh, last week. You might be wearing your teams all the time. You never know. You know. When is yeah, a good time to maybe take they off the don't have to come off. Imagine the insoles with some Tims on, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> you really going crazy at that point, bro? That's Jack and the Beanstalk height. So right, are, you just... are they doing that? Because I've never seen a man wear platform shoes. You know, not in this age. It for shows sure on Soul Train with them. So, <laughs> so these the new platforms, basically. basically yeah, but it's invisible. Though, a little like, bit more style. The point is discretion, yeah. right? So it's, it's definitely like, your height fishing, you now. know. Like with the platforms, you intentionally like showing the world like this is style, but like the, the little inserts, you kind of like, hey, can I get away with this? I'm in favor of, of that existing. I'm oh, I'm, I'm, pro, man. I'm pro okay. uh, inserts. I personally don't think I would feel the need to to have them for myself, but I get it because I think in the exact same way, you actually brought up a good comparison with like a push up bra. You know, naturally, yeah. I feel like there's okay. plenty of things that women can use to enhance themselves. At least, and we know this, and we've accepted moment. this, yeah. and it's like that's that's why not the norm. Why, that why, not, not, why not me? It's just why? a matter of that not being the norm, <laughs> because realistically, it does. Been a, you know, we're talking about what happens when you take off the shoes. At that point, it I don't matter. matter. Wait, wait, we're here. Curious, though, You're already like, reeled in. When when Shorty asked you though, like you know, weren't you a little taller? What would you go say? Right, you, <laughs> you're 25 <laughs> years old and you just grew two inches. <laughs> what is she like, gonna say if you the math say, not math? What happened to uh, your cup size? You yeah. know, like that's a crazy question. To yeah, ask you in wouldn't the first even place. ask that out of respect. So <laughs> I just go ask even... to say that in response to that. I'd be she, like, she, you might. She might. She might. She'd be like, you know what? You're right. That's That's insane. Because let it rock. Let it rock. When is when would it be a appropriate to wear them you know what i mean prime example wedding day 
She got on six inch heels. Y'all okay. probably similar height in real life. She putting them on. You don't want to look shorter than her in your wedding pictures because you know in real life you're not shorter than her. Mm. Maybe you throwing that yeah, boy on so like don't get you, it ain't, you ain't yeah. gonna play me like in these mm. pictures. I know we both five eight, but man, we still you, you can't be six two today. Yeah, sorry. Exactly. <laughs> so that's an example where I feel like that's actually very fair. Yeah, somebody yeah, that that was very practical. Makes sense. Sense. Yeah, I'm kind of mad yeah. I made that much. Yeah, I know. Right, he was pondering that one. Well, in that instance, yeah, I'm not too mad about it, actually. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's definitely situational, though, because I feel like sports. Yeah, I don't know. Don't We're know just gonna be switching sports. ice. What's gonna happen to your feet? That's PED. I feel like is that I'm, good for your feet? I'm just saying the scouts there. You know what I'm saying? You're a five eleven guard. I mean, at some point they take <laughs> you. Your you're, actual, you're a five ten like, safety. <laughs> they're gonna actually measure you one day. I'm sure they will, but when they come into your high school games, they're not measuring you. True. When they're scouting you and they're trying to offer up. you that contract. I need extended yeah. arms too though. I, I mean, need my wings bend. They already pump athletes' heights though. <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the little uh brochure, like when you come to like a high school game, everybody at least six foot, everybody on that team. That's is really like the auction block for mm. real, but we ain't gonna have that conversation. Mm. <laughs> you said it's the auction block. <laughs> it's not yes. like it, but also I don't even know that. I didn't know that I never thought about it like that. Yeah. But they definitely had me at six one. I'm like, I'm barely touching the six foot mark. Now you really pushing it. But now if the, the, the scouts come, I might have to. Boop. I think the downside of it though is I do think it adds a little bit of deception. No, well, I mean, yeah, but I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Man, that's not the big that's problem. The easy part. But I'm just saying, I just oh think, my God, bro, <laughs> <laughs> come on. I just feel like it adds too much validity to that argument. I think there's, I don't know. I'm personally tired of the whole like. Oh, uh, I just get ignored by all women and women suck because I'm this height and blah, blah, blah. It's just like, maybe you stink. You know what I'm saying? There could be some additional factors. <sighs> maybe like, there's other things. There might maybe be some other stink. things or I don't know. I just feel like yeah. I don't want it to turn into people using it to like as an excuse. I think a lot of people already do use it as an excuse. Mm. It's like, you don't, you, you don't talk to people well. You know what I'm saying? Like if, maybe. It, if you're one inch under whatever their requirement, if you got, you know, if you got, got some, Mac if on you, you got a little something on you, know, Oh, yeah, well, well. Yeah. yeah, then you can you can make it work. You can you know compensate. But. Yeah, be confident in who you are first and foremost. There you go. Yeah, regardless. Of Rock that little said. five seven body. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Strut. <laughs> Turn that little <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because <laughs> my response when I had raised my hand, I was gonna say. <laughs> He's like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> really, the same way that you feel about that uh, argument being too valid, it's like, that's like little booty girls feeling like, I'm tired of guys ignoring me because my cheeks are small. But it's, do but they the, feel that? But, but, but what they gotta realize is it's dudes that's into that. You know what I'm saying? It's girls into short dudes. Yeah. It's just, you just gotta find somebody that like you. You gotta find bro. your pool. Yeah, stay off the Pop internet. culture. Stay off the, <laughs> oh, God, bro. Stay, <laughs> off, the explore, stay off the explore page. Stay off the explore page, please. Yeah. You will <laughs> lose true. your mind, bro. True. True. And then it's not a real place. Yeah. Well, it's not, but it's it's real, but it's not your real place. <laughs> nah, you gotta talk to these people in person. You got to, bro. But people hit, getting too desensitized. He hit the nail on the head. But just be comfortable with being yourself. And don't wear nothing that's gonna jack right. up your feet. Grab a pair in case. Right, you to, to the real be, foot gonna be twisted. Yeah, bro. yeah. <laughs> like the long term effects of you trying to be tall twenty four seven. No, it ain't worth it, bro. Grab a pair for your <laughs> wedding day if you lady and you the same height. Oh, okay. So then y'all probably don't like the Let's keep one on deck. The, okay. the the shin stuff then. The, the shin extension? Yeah. I'm not. That's even it. crazier, bro. Well, I'm not a fan of any sort of active, like, surgery like that's body body strictly for cosmetic purposes. Cosmetic appearance. Mm. I'm not here to judge anybody if you're listening, watching, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Your decisions are your decisions. Your body is your body. I just feel like nobody's going to cut me open to as God's creation <laughs> for the sake of just, like, looking different because I feel as though I was made in his image. This is exactly okay. how it's supposed to look. What if you didn't look like Ben? And if I'm ugly, then I'm going to make something else beautiful. You know. What if you didn't look like Ben? 
Thank see no, cause thank like, God I do. God, <laughs> I'm saying, no what if, way, bro. What if you look like like? <laughs> thank God I do. No way, bro. R- Rumble Rumble still skin. Yeah, you know, like, like, what, if, what if you looked crazy? Now that's would, a different would, reality would, that I I don't have the perspective of. But so. would your would your principles on the matter change because you're uglier? The principles, no. Because you're ugly. The principles, it would just be like that's unfortunate, but again, still guys yeah, got something else for me that you know is is imparted. It, I look like to be back back another hey, dog, Anybody I'm gonna, gonna like, say something? It's gonna be bro. I mess with that. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not getting no type of shit, and nothing. Cause what's the recovery like on it's that? Crazy. It's the crazy. It's crazy. Oh, yes. That got to be like, like you got to be bedridden for a minute, bro. There's do like 15 PT. months. Like you have to, yeah. Like you have learn to how to learn how to walk with that, and it's like at what cost? Now, if it's for some type of like additional benefit in the sense of like you're actually trying to. I don't know like so <laughs> the movie that I always remember is Gattaca I know I've talked about yeah. it before he got this like the surgery and it was because he had to be a certain height to be an astronaut he was chasing yeah. a dream and he was like so set on it and so he got the surgery in order to make like the height requirements of that he's not just trying to look cute and you know attractive and whatever like he's like this is fueled by a deep rooted passion and a purpose in life and that's a different conversation but they also did not keep him ugly huh they also did not keep him ugly in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, he did get a little, you know, he out got a little facelift to it. Was <laughs> Overall, he got something he, else. He, he, he's, he's like, oh, we already here. He was getting so. fit like and all that kind of stuff, too. Like, he said, you already got the night. He's like, I already, you it's know. Gattaca. Gattaca. Yeah. Gattaca, yeah, Gattaca yeah. as in, it's uh, named that because, uh, uh, like, DNA code is like G, A's, T's, and C's, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. It's 1997 film. Yeah, yeah. I watched it in class. my dog. What's bro's name? That's my dog. Ethan, no, yeah, Ethan Hogg. It was his name. Yeah. See, that sounds like a that sounds like a a fake name. It does. That's what Ethan like, Hogg. It sounds like him. like his character's name. Type B. You feel me? And even kind of like Jude Law. Uh, is that really your name? I'm sorry. That's definitely somebody's name in real life. Um, <laughs> My name's Jude. Type B. That's an old. I feel like an old name. Jude. Jude. It makes me think of Judd Apatow. Makes me think of who do like the who work with uh, Seth Rogen. Oh, did like um, Super Bad and all that stuff. Oh. They like a they like a duo. Maybe working on any movies. But all in all, shout out okay. Fashion Nova for looking out for the homies. I mean, uh, for the cheap, I mean, sponsor us, man. My sub for the my short sub, kings, right? My yeah. sub five nine homies. We I'm saying, bro. Hey. We Thank see y'all. Man. We gotta look down, but we see y'all. Mm. Mm. Thanks for coming to our tent. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all I had on that though. Dog. <laughs> but would y'all wear them? No, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got a reason it. to. I ain't got a reason to. <laughs> so we all on the same no. page. Let's go say I'm a calm like five eleven, bro. Like if she's six God. two, she already knew that this was a losing battle. So hey, I ain't even got to feel that pressure. She probably feel the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but if if I was five eight, I would. I would wear. Them. You climbed that tree before? I can't say that I'm I have. Not. I cannot say that I have. I'm not saying that I'm necessarily opposed to it. It just, you know, <laughs> a woman of interest has just never appeared. What I man, which y'all, how y'all feel about these new, these new, NBA. NBA, go these ahead, new, y'all, new, uh, hoop players, man. These you know, you talking about not that they finally get recognition. This guy, no, I mean, I'm thinking about just the evolution of how they look. I mean, is there actual evolution? Yeah, is, yeah, is there See, evolution? this is, uh, this is the hard part with this question because or, or have they you haven't really noticed. Now? I was going to say, there's some historical data that there's might support some, that. Have they, true. have they actually changed their appearance or are they actually just being showcased now? Because they're, they're they IG they're, ready. There's always been WNBA baddies. Maya Moore, Skylar Diggins, like, that, like oh, he naming them. Yeah, wow, like, no, he know him for real. Yeah, because yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah. Skylar <laughs> Diggins was OG, bro. Yeah, Skylar Diggins was OG. It's one uh, on one. Now it's like Shanae, Shanae Okolukongi, whatever options. her name is. I don't know how to say her name, but Shanae off of uh, NBA Today. Why did you try? Mm-hmm. Why did you try to say mm-hmm. her name? Hey, hey bleep it out. He said I thought I could. <laughs> I thought no, I could. bro, they they evolved. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> I see my women's basketball to y'all. <laughs> I mean, I think that's well, what I'm saying. You got the historical data that. to support that, what's, bro. What's I, I watched the shock. What's the actual question? <laughs> I've seen the shock. <laughs> I'm just out of it. Hey, but shout out to Detroit Shock, man. We need to get them yeah. back in. Bring them back. back. Detroit, 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 Detroit. Detroit. They in Oklahoma imagine, right now. Imagine how they stepping at the. They might uh, fix the balance on the red carpet the like before games and stuff. They Facts, right? On social media and stuff. If the shock had a team, they'd be like, I ain't going to this Pistons game, but the shock. Are you asking just like how we feel about it, like or like what? Y'all notice. 
do y'all know that they bad? Yeah, I think the only thing I know is baddies. that I see them now. That's why I said they IG ready. So that's yeah. It. So I, I mean, I feel like. Could it be due to like a cultural change amongst like the actual sport, mm. do we, or like how the sport is being promoted, or like you know? Because I think sometimes the job is just different. Like maybe it's a matter of all right, now we have to be media ready, or we have to be this, that, or the other. Or it could be like a cultural change of the actual sport and being like more open to it and be like, okay, no, you can be. I don't know. I, I think just more attractive basketball has just gotten so big <laughs> yeah. that more people no, and it's like now it. now i feel like two athletes will try and make like a super baby you know what i'm saying and they might uh, not, they might be like decent hmm. they might be decent you know what i'm saying decent yeah. looking but i'm just saying like hmm. uh the sport has evolved where pretty girls is you know oh, what i'm saying it's, 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 it's a good balance now it used to be a lot of more masculine you know what I'm saying? Uh, Players. Appearing woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna act like I know what you're talking about, bro. I, I get what you're saying. You know well, what no, saying? but I guess that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, for real. I, I was just trying to be politically correct, but yeah. Know, like, any of them in a bikini versus five Lisa Leslie's in a bikini. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I ain't saying nothing wrong with it, but I'm just thinking, like, back in the day, or like, what would you... It wasn't a pretty girl sport. Like, that's, honestly... That's kind of what I'm getting in, at. In, yeah. in uh, like... At least in my the culture that I come from, mm. it's like usually um, I know like women uh, in like my church congregation were like refused to let their daughters play basketball. Yeah, it was like that sport is deemed mm. as this or usually comes with this, type, and my okay. daughter would not be partaking in these kind of sports. So then it's like now the type of people who are drawn or even allowed to play this sport is going to be the more tomboyish or more. Yeah. Like, like, I think that's for real. What's we changing, seen, if we anything. But now? WNB yeah. play, uh, WNBA players Double with models. nails on. Mm -hmm. They coming out on the court with lip gloss. You know what I'm saying? Baby hairs laid. I was going to say fresh, like that. fresh yeah. silk press. It also could be like yeah. an acceptance, like a, a progressive kind of aspect of society kind of to Zach's point he definitely articulated it a little bit better because you could flip it and say like okay now maybe it's a little bit more acceptable to see like male cheer cheerleaders in in a different space that it wasn't as accepted like it's just kind of the inverse in the sense of like yeah. yeah like at some point you were like oh if you're a woman playing basketball you're you're this you know you fit into this bubble and yeah, so I yeah. think a lot of that is just sort of evolving a little yeah. bit as opposed to like <laughs> they're just actually getting prettier or they were used to be ugly or whatever Facts. the case may be. Like, like they I were coming out there raw. They yeah. were coming out there raw. Like even even the coldest ones like the Maya Moors or the scavengers of like pre-2000. They came out there to do a job. Yeah, they was out there bare face like this is practice like I'm finna sweat my yeah. ass off where now people coming out there like this has entertainment value thousands, millions they of got, people you know are what watching. Yeah. They going out there with a full but face. The NBA the same eyebrows, way. Arch, you feel me? That makes me think of uh, uh, Shikari. Shikari, like, it's a little British bit more Shikari. accepted, yeah, of, yeah. like, her yeah, image. Actually. Like, we're okay with that now, yeah. which is actually really sweet. You know, it's pretty yeah. dope. What are you saying about the NBA? The NBA players are getting in prettier, too? Or? Relax. <laughs> but just in the sense of, like, they're, they're taking it to more of an extreme to be accessorized on the yeah. floor. They're taking it to a more of a extreme to be well groomed before stylish. a game outside yes. of Kevin Durant. Like, the oh, majority no, of players. Kevin Durant. Yeah, like, there was even, like, a meme where, like, Central. Perk was saying that uh, Perk, uh, Kendrick Perkins <laughs> on, like, NBA Today, he was like, Jason Tatum, the only person I know who got a brand new haircut because before every, every single game. Like, that he does not. He ain't working game. hard enough. Exactly. But he and, is, and that's, what, and that's no, what they're making like jokes about. But it's like even Kobe, like you know, there gets to points in the in the season. Kobe don't care about his hair. He went bald. He got the fro. Like don't care. And then even like Brian, like you know, what I'm saying he just going through the motions. But now it's yeah. like they had to ban the the, uh, the ninja headband. Every NBA player was doing that. Like the uh, hmm. Shea with the um, asymmetrical uh, like uh, leggings or the uh, legs the sleeves, exactly and stuff like that. Hmm. It's just like now it's just a lot more fashion ability on court as well as off court. Where before the best hoopers they might have one arm sleeve, and they just out there just going crazy hooping. Yeah, but now it's like all my favorite players they got some kind of gear on. Yeah, I'm saying, bro. You even see it in the culture, like when they coming into the game. Mm -hmm. You know, fits the thing. Oh, at all. Like a league fits, a, league a fits fashion, is, yeah. Like. I mean, league IG fits, page. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that page, and that's where you seeing all of these new IG baddie hoopers at. But I'm saying, uh, Dylan Gonzalez. True. Do you know who they are? The Gonzalez twins. They went to UNLV. Yep. So I feel like that was probably like the Allen Iverson of the situation, kind of like where AI kind of when he did the brace, not everybody just 
wearing whatever the games they're not wearing suits no more they just kind of wearing street attire mm-hmm. they were like the first like i feel like female hoopers who tried to brand themselves as mm-hmm. um just like models or attractive ig first, baddies mm-hmm. and then an athlete second got it when did and they then start then i feel like it's just been blowing up after they did getting i feel like when did they start getting like really informal i feel like that's what i've been the seeing NBA? yeah in terms of like language in terms of just like how they i don't know i just feel like everybody just cussing left and right on in like the interviews and stuff i'm like huh it's just i think it's more um especially anthony edwards i don't want to say like shock <laughs> value okay but it's more just like an attention thing now you okay. know what i'm saying like they probably figure you hear the worse internet, stuff on the, the internet on the and internet. social media is so big. It's like people feed off of that back and forth for somebody yeah. talking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I don't know. They how. probably did start to realize that like that's where a lot of entertainment value is going to lie. It's like allowing the players to really kind of. I mean, they get fined still. I was say, they probably, yeah, they, yeah, 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 but it's just like what's what's five thousand dollars to you? Got a two hundred eighty million dollar contract. I don't exactly. know, but like when that money stopped, like. That money gonna matter. Yeah, you gonna look back like, dang, I should have For a regular yeah, person, a hundred percent. But for them in that moment when they dropped that f bomb in that interview, they just sped past it. Like I'm finna just finish going. Like oh well, like Lamelo. I was like, literally about yeah, to say the Lamelo. He cussed like three times, but it's like Miles Bridges be picking with him while he in his interview. So he's like, bro, get the, get the fuck away from me. No right. And at that point, you already said you like. What's five bands? He told me, what you having for Thanksgiving? He's like, shit. Jeez. Talking about turkey. Damn. <laughs> uh, like, he didn't need to do bro, that. Like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, him, that, he just probably not trained by He don't got no PR team. His dad his PR <laughs> his team. Dad, his PR team and his brother. Yeah, so he ain't never even learned. <laughs> and they anything. taking the fine. Yeah, they right. the fine. Right. He like, go ahead, bro. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Send a check to Big Baller Brand. On Big Baller Brand. But they do be making more like obscure comments, though. Like during commentary, like they do be saying some insane stuff. Yeah, and they I'm know like, that they're doing it for the shock value of okay. the comment. Yeah. But they want to get on Sports Center. Talking. It's an investment. Yeah. Okay, I see it. I see it. the wheels are turning. Yeah, mm. it's, it's it's all about a bag. <laughs> I was gonna say because KG back in the day, psh, he was gonna let it fly, bro. <laughs> Me. But it didn't. We just interact with them more. Like they be having the mics on, mic. Yeah, I was gonna say. So then it's like they got to tell each other like. Bro, I got the mic on. Like, yeah, you're talking crazy, like you know, because they don't tell you now. You on there just saying that. Most <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Did y'all hear Aunt, uh, Anthony Edwards barking? No, he was barking. What was he? Yeah, barking? I they think, like mic'd him up during the game. Or? I think he told Kyrie he had he had that dog in him. Oh no! And then it was like a a, a scramble for the ball, so like everybody was jumping for the ball. Yeah. And while he was in the pile, oh, he was barking. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd been like, "You got it, bro." I'm like, saying, this. "Yeah, you finna bite me or something, bro." This ain't just an expression. Right, I'm like, you tripping, bro. That's, hey, <laughs> that's happening to that, that's that like deeper a part of the game, bro. <laughs> he feet, but Zach said, I feel he that. He said, I get it, bro. You know that intimidation factor. On, he like, I'm going to just give the people what they asking for. Yeah, a monster. <laughs> a monster. I mean, have a little fun. Why not? <laughs> Actually, shoot. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of monster, uh, <laughs> uh, I said I told the guys I had a, a girthy one Darts. today. I juiced the topic. You said oh a what? God. And uh, so we're gonna skip past that, please. No, we're not. No, <laughs> yes, we're not. We're yes, right we here. Yes, we're we sitting are. on it. We're parking. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're getting comfortable. <laughs> but what did you call? So, uh, <laughs> oh no! Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see what he said. So, Next. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can I, all right. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. So, uh, for some odd reason, uh, a lot of this this idea has been coming to my my world in a lot of different ways. Uh, Colts. So we're gonna talk about Colts today. So, okay. Colts, crazy thing, right? <laughs> Colts, this is wild. a topic of conversation. But so, me. the really? Yeah. See, I don't know what's going on. Something's in the air. Colt, I cannot Colt. relate. Ain't that in the air? <laughs> no, you go, you're going to relate very I'm going to relate. Yes, because the main thing uh, is this actually, this one came from today. So, there is a documentary, docu-series that just came out on Netflix today. Uh, the te- today, not when you're listening, but today when we're recording. TV. And so uh, someone that went to our high school that we graduated with is a part of this documentary. What? So it's really dope to actually see them on Netflix, right? <laughs> um, um, this is a very unfortunate context <laughs> in which they are on said uh, the you know Netflix docu series. But I was watching. It's only three episodes. I watched two episodes at work today because I was as soon as I saw it, and, like I follow them still. So like they posted, yeah, like this is like this is somebody we know, like we know. No them. way. Um, 
Um, and so I uh, posted yeah, it. I gotta find Jeez. out in a second. And I like went straight to Netflix. I'm at work. I'm just like, hey, I'm chilling. I'm just waiting on to get to the podcast. So like, let me tap in. Um, so it's all about like this cult that this person, along with several other people, kind of like fell into. Okay. Um, and aside from that, I watched. Uh, this is we're gonna move on from that. That's just I'm just dropping in why cults have just been on my brain. All right. Uh, He's shout not out the new one. Planet of the Apes. I saw that twice. That's out in theaters right now. Wow. You um, you, want, you liked it that much? I just saw it with different people. Oh, okay. So yeah, it was good though. Okay. But there's definitely some culty pieces in there for oh, sure. Oh, <laughs> um, oh, oh. Yeah. So that's kind of culty. Uh, I had recently heard a story that is, you know, somebody knows somebody who knows somebody that's in a cult actively and blah blah blah. So just the idea of cults. Oh, and then the Greek stuff right now, like everyone denouncing all that kind of stuff and throwing out the cult word time, periodically. <laughs> you know, oh, I've just been hearing this whole uh, phrase of cult and like I just like I don't crazy. know. I crazy. I can't say I've taken a deep dive or anything, but I've just like actually begin to to ponder a bit about the it's whole circling, concept man. Of, of cults yeah yeah um so i guess my question that i've drawn from all of this intake of cult content <laughs> is um for you all individually i, I want us to like take this personally because uh, let me preface this by saying um i want to personalize this because i don't want this to sound as though any judgment is being posed in any form or fashion i think when there are stories about people that are falling victim to cults there can be like embarrassment there can be like judgment of like, like how did you fall for that yeah like forex like you're just like yeah bro you really <laughs> you really <laughs> fell for that kind of stuff bro. like that's not you know the angle that i want to go about this i really want this to be more like individualized but um one of the things that i think is is very uh similar when it comes to those that are involved in cults is that one of the reasons and the probably largest reason as to why they find themselves in that entanglement so to speak uh is you know just having such a drive for like a sense of belonging and just wanting to be a part of something um so we'll start just there like in, in your all's individual lives how heavily do you think you value that kind of idea and feeling and to what degree does that sort of uh I don't know, con- not control, but affect your decision making or actions. Mm. Um, yeah, let's let's stay let's stay. Just there. so I understand that clearly. Yes. You want to know how our sense or desire for belonging affects just decisions that we make. Yeah, like in general, like if you were to really stop, because I I think I started to. This came from like me being like, how did you get? here Mm -hmm. and then i started to realize like you know okay i get it you had this type of upbringing Mm -hmm. uh you were seeking this out and you naturally found it here without realizing it was a cult so i'm starting to think like okay maybe it's not so far-fetched that cults exist i know it's like this crazy idea that's like what the heck they do all this weird stuff but like realistically we're all human and I think we all oftentimes naturally have a desire for that. So I just kind of wanted to gauge and, and kind of peek into you all's lives and just, yeah, like how you were saying, just like how does a, that kind of idea or, or desire kind of affect your decision making? Or I think when people think about something like that, I don't know if they have like a premonition or like they might think that... Um, if I give into this, there's certain things that like I won't have to think about anymore. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because I think with those, I guess those cult like groups or whatever, everybody's thinking the same way. Mm-hmm. Low high I mean, mind. At least about something, huh? At, at least about like one or two things. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? I, yeah. There, there, there's a similar interest, and there's yeah. a, you know what I'm saying. There's a mission going forward. My yeah. fault. I'm moving the mic while I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the commonality. Um, I don't know. I really just think it depends on how you was raised and how you really perceive the world. You know. Okay. So for you, given how you were raised, you yeah. know, to to what degree do you feel as though like that? Is that something that you value heavily, the idea of that that feeling of belonging in different spaces? Is that something that is more, you know, lower on your totem pole? Or? Uh, I think I think that's more, like, situational. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I really think that it's something periodic. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like I think... That, actually. Uh, I think we're all looking for something. You know what I'm saying? It could be 
really bad. You know, it could be something like you might be looking for something really bad when you're 22. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. two, three years later, you might not feel the same way anymore. Right. You know, um, I don't know. So I just think like a sense of belonging is really like environmental. It's based on your experience. Um, for real, I think it's really just where you're at. Mm-hmm. And you're looking for comfort. And some people are really desperate for comfort. Yeah. Mm. Watch out. That that's the extreme that they'll take it to. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um, personally, for myself, I like that you use the word periodically because I'm really kind of thinking about myself like right now, or at least in the last, oof, at least four, six years, I would say, like when you really are. I don't want to say starting to like affiliate yourself in certain groups or joining different things, getting to know different people, X, Y, and Z. Like to me in my decision making, it's not very important. Um, I don't want to say I've been an island, but I've very much kind of been like, it's nice having people to do things with. It's nice having people that uh, share a common, you know, belief or whatever it is that, you know, you guys have, you know, together, but still very much at at the end of the day, I'm my own person. (laughs) Sometimes, you know, to my own detriment as well, maybe, you know, I just can't change that kind of about myself. Yeah. Like, bro, like I was telling y'all before we, you know what I'm saying? I hopped on the mic. Like I grew up the only child and I moved around a lot. So it was like, I don't necessarily know if I was like always content being by myself or if that led me to like, be forward when it comes to getting other people to recognize me, you know? Mm. Mm. And I feel like that also could, you kind of always, I think earlier you kind of said like needing to grow up or kind of get your, or get the things right can also in a way steer you to be like, okay, I don't need nobody as yeah. well. You'd be like, mm, no, nah, I'm straight. I'm gonna do my own thing. Cause I always have, have had to, I've always had to figure it out yeah. type of thing. So For I think sure. you could do, I think you could do both. Yeah, like I said, I think it's just I think it's just situational. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you are able to stand up on both your feet and when you fully stand up all the way, you you know, your head touch the roof or goes through the roof. Type but sometimes when you stand up, you might fall to one knee. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it might not be the best situation for you to stand up, so you get you know, you gotta lean on other people. True. Facts. Um <laughs> <laughs> I would say I, I agree with kind of what you were saying, Troy, when I look at like myself now versus maybe like years ago, because I also moved around quite a bit when I was younger. But in I guess not in a like a cult sense, but I always felt like I always try to like get myself involved in things, you know, what I'm saying or always kind of, you know, just kind of be around people, whether it been like teams, whether it been like some little like theater type stuff when I was like much younger. Um, But I'm a firm believer too that if you don't particularly have like a plan for yourself or like kind of a notion for yourself or something that you want to do, someone else will just kind of make that, you know, decision for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In one way or another. So Mm -hmm. right now I don't think I would be, you know, pushed into something like that, like present day, but you know, when I was younger, I definitely, like, even still being pretty to myself, were always, like, grateful for moments when I was, like, around people that mm-hmm. were, like, like-minded or people that I thought were, like, dang, this is, like, a cool person or this is a person that I could, you know what I'm saying? I could see myself, like, being tapped in with. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I, mean, I, I think it just kind of depend on, you know, how you came up. I think, like, I don't know. I, I really don't think we stopped learning you know what I'm saying? I don't think we stopped learning. Um, as far as like learning people, and it's like yeah, especially learning people. <laughs> uh, I mean, until you get to a certain point, and then you 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 get a you get an eye opener, dog. I don't know when it happens. <laughs> y'all y'all approaching that eye opener if your eyes ain't open already, or maybe okay. kind of understanding, kind of understanding you yourself open. in the context of exactly. these other people. Do you feel like it's 27. 27. I hear a lot of things about 27 specifically. I like mean, that's the age. That, your body change you know. at 27. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I think when your body change, your body reacts to certain things differently. Mm-hmm. I think that's like 
you know, you 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 getting you at a higher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was gonna say alive. At, at 27, feel? I feel like okay. you've seen enough of like life's kind of BS oh. and like kind of some of like you know what I'm saying. You've you've lived like. <sighs> Quite What's a bit of like if you went to <laughs> if you went to school, you know, you out like you've been out several years. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? By then. Um yeah, it's just like you get you can it's easy when you still learning people, learning yourself, it's kind of scary what you can get sucked into. Mm-hmm. You know? Without even knowing. Yeah. I think that's yeah, kind of the I'm thing knowing. I think it calls yeah, like really. you were trying to say too, is like sometimes you don't even know. Yeah. You think you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I seen like a Boy Meets World episode or something like that where um not Corey. Who is who is his friend? Sean. Yeah. That um he got Longer like hair. he got talked into like a cult or something oh, wow. like that. It was like a whole episode on that. Hmm. And it was like something like that. It was real casual guy he met at I think at like the pool hard, hall or whatever arcade they be at. Yeah. It was just like chopping. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You know. And it's, it'd be that easy. Then it'd be, I think it was like shorties that was at the thing, or it was like a bunch of other people that was real. He was telling. Next thing you know, you sacrifice. Yeah, right. He was t- he telling Corey about it. He like, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like bro. It yeah. could just it really could just be that one person who you end up clicking with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then. That opens you the notice door you start though. separating mm-hmm. yourself from the things that you used to do, and now you're doing something completely different. Yep. Mm. And it's like, when is when is it going to be too deep for you to like yeah. realize like, what am I doing? Where am I at? Who yeah. am I? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm. Right. Know yourself. Exactly. You had your hand up. Yeah. Um, what was the question exactly <laughs> again? Just to refocus it. Uh, it was like, well, what did you raise? Was that what you raised your hand for? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say say what you were gonna say first. Mm-hmm. Um, just yeah, what is like the degree of uh, value that you know you hold personally in terms of the like sense of belonging, and to what degree would you say that kind of affects the decisions you make slash have made? Um, well, yeah, me individually, um, I feel like I do have a strong sense of belonging. But also, I always initially I felt like I never belonged. So then it became a lifelong mission to create my own community. Hmm. So therefore, with that, because I'm so accustomed to creating my own community, I would never need a reason to see the cult community. Leader. Basically, like <laughs> okay, if, but <laughs> if, if if there was Zach and some kind of cult affiliated <laughs> with each other, dog. it would have whole time we in a me creating whole time we were in a cult this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Whole time, y'all ain't know 2016. That was the year, bro. Oh, this is oh where I established God. all this, bro. Oh my God! This was Played all. This was the game. <laughs> bro. Gonna put that notepad out, like, bro. This was the plan from the beginning, bro. Five years from now, from the jump, Zolt from right. house. Dog. You're right. Zolt, and, we, Zolt and, we, and, we'll be, and we'll be like, yeah, bro. That sounds like a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> and then we gonna look up, like, wait a minute, bro. We got us. <laughs> we in Zach t-shirts, bro. Dog, yes, <laughs> <his face. laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> He's talking about this is all I ever wanted. No way, bro. But yeah, like I just, um, no. I've always been very independent in belief. I value external people helping me, like decide, you know, what the world or society deems as mm-hmm. good and stuff like that. But I still do got my internal system where, like, Your I compass. Yeah, like, yeah. It, like I have a big problem with authority, not necessarily because I disagree or because I think that I'm smarter or something like that. But it's just like I have this very high belief that. I know the most efficient or the most effective way to do something. Yeah. Don't nobody so then, know more than me. Yeah, and it's not, it's not, it's no shame <laughs> yeah. to nobody else, but it's just a confidence. Hey, man, that's real, that's real, that's real, that's real, that's real, that's real, that's real. Shut up. <laughs> I, mean, you gotta, I mean, you gotta know what you're doing if you do <laughs> like that, you know? I'm yeah. just playing, bro. Right. Yeah, so it's just like I always been resourceful and had to figure it out until this point. So it's like, I feel like people who join those, they're seeking something that they feel like either they can't get. On, on their, their own, own yeah. or this is a easier method to get to something that maybe I don't have a roadmap outline to how to get to. Mm-hmm. But I always got a map. And if I don't got one, I'm making one. Yeah. And then That's hard. I do believe that I'm resourceful enough to get anything that I need because I remember having nothing and creating the world that I have today. Mm-hmm. So everybody, everybody's looking for something. Yeah. yeah. You know? And, sure. you know, if, if the, you needed a way to lure me in, 
Uh, what's that? What's that thing called? It's a you giving tips, bro. Oh, no, it's the closest that I got test. involved. Somebody gonna be like, "This the episode I'm gonna tap Forex. in with." It's the closest thing to forex that I almost got involved just in, like day trading or something. No, because they day trading is just an activity <laughs> to do. You got to trade them options, <laughs> dog. <laughs> that's how we yeah, make it. That's how we get that bread, bro. Hey, no, trading is lucrative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, lucrative is one of the words. Right sure. <laughs> he right. said, "Now that's a code I can get behind." Facts, but Robin Hood. Uh, MLM? That? No, it's they sell like products. Yeah, like Ponzi scheme, like exactly. Yeah, but it's one of them. It's, it, the Am- knives, Amway. Okay. Amway. Yeah, it's like a. It just you just sell like products to people. They try like to get an, me. An, I'm, I'm hip to Amway. Amway. Yeah, so it's just like they were trying to offer me something that I felt like that might be an easier route to. Yeah. Showing me entrepreneurship and telling me how much money I can make off of it. There's one thing that I wanted. Money. money so they were trying to offer me something that i felt like would be easier to obtain and then after a month or two i realized like this is a ponzi scheme yeah. and i was like okay they be, sell- they be so selling it so selling good though they be like i was just like you bro went right. to school oh. did this now now look at me. working a, ju- working a job what? i ain't look like bro car. but look at me bro like, talking yeah. about, i ain't never seen you drive that car but i have seen <laughs> they in debt <laughs> he's talking about, I don't, he's talking about, i don't usually Crazy say this debt. but he said, you a lot like me when I was coming up, bro. Yeah. So now you really Everybody. feel good. You're like, dang, bro. He really I could be him. <laughs> they really care, bro, bro. You know what I thought? Like, as I reflected on this idea, what could have developed into a cult? Hmm. That thing that we were doing with that what, just guy that. Some of the other podcast, bro. Yeah, it was yes, gonna be bro. like a podcast oh situation. So we, uh, I've been thinking about that. I'm not gonna lie every, to you. Every once in a while, I drive in that area. So Ooh, it was just the vibe. Get a sinister feeling. It was just, it yes, was, it was actually. Just, he was just a mastermind. Like it was just, something. And he could sell it. Well. And I and I feel bad because I really think it was just the way that he. This is the best way he can kind of convey himself. And he said he was just being thoughts. himself. It really, but it was like. I'm you always see he's being too much like himself, and I'm always wondering, what are you really saying? <laughs> it's over the shit. That's it what was always Zip like, was saying about needing to know always, people, bro. It was always some shit at the Such end, like you know, and picture. this is wrong or like yeah. some sort of big problem. This is gonna be huge, and like the government is gonna like, realize this all, and we're gonna be ahead of it, and all that kind of stuff. I'm Once like, ideas okay, get that bro. grand, you'd be like, all right, bro. He was, like, just, he was basically just recruiting a bunch of people to like build this website and create this podcast and yeah. like this big media just like hub for his ideologies so to Y'all speak. Y'all could have been talking about the social like, economic like, so, so <laughs> state of the world. So anonymous. Huh. Uh, not that crazy. Okay. Yeah, not that crazy. Oh, um, no. no but not like that. He, That'd be he, crazy. Like, he had a studio for us to work yep. work out of. We were meeting like once a week, all this kind of stuff. Just put on these black and, outfits uh, and masks. It just fell yeah. apart. Oh. <laughs> no. It fell apart because he went through a crazy divorce and she was like siphoning all his money at that's the time. So, yeah, that's what oh. happened. That's kind of mainly how I fell apart. Yikes. But uh, otherwise, yeah. it would have been right Shout out to her leaving him because I don't know what that could have turned into <laughs> bro, for us. I had a right. He would have turned up, bro. With, I think somebody was trying to sell a job in insurance for me. Uh oh. I work in insurance. It does, uh, like, it does uh, initially seem like a Ponzi scheme. They will sell you. It really did. Mm-hmm. I remember it was about 10 years ago. I might have been fresh out of well, college. No, not. No, I ain't that old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was. It might have been after my first year of college, okay. after my okay. freshman year. Northwestern Mutual? Primerica. No, that's a real company. He's just Primerica it felt like Ponzi, Primerica like, felt like a yeah prime like time. a scam. <laughs> so, yeah, Primerica. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'm glad you made it out, but we want to make sure you know <laughs> that uh, you present something for us. We don't want to you know monopolize the conversation. Did you uh, oh, have yeah. any topics for? Oh, for sure. Well, I had a thought for y'all to ponder on before. Yeah. You know, we ponder. We've been wanna, pondering, man. That's cool, and we can circle back to that after. You know what I'm saying? My actual topic. Okay. Right. So, right. I had a thought, and <laughs> what would y'all, what would y'all do? What do y'all think about if we lived in a world where farts sounded like gunshots, and gunshots sounded like farts? Just like with the same intensity and everything, every time you fart, it's like that loud. It's, I mean, it's yeah, it's a gunshot, and so, depending on the, the depending on dog. the type of fart, it 
It might be a bazooka. It might be a bazooka. You feel it me? Might shotgun? Be, might be a shotgun. You might be a Uzi. Oh my God, rapid fire. <laughs> One thing I know is I would have to change a lot about my lifestyle because I have mastered sneak the form tool. of the sneak tool. the crop dust, the silent mm. assassin crop I mean, but dust. But they got, they got silencers. You got silencers got on it. Oh my God. Oh, shoot. You got okay. that silencer you know on it. I mean, that's still, that's still louder than <laughs> the <laughs> silence. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, the farts be silent. I'd be at shoots and stuff. I was just working a wedding on Saturday. I was, no way, man. bro. Giving it to him. Oh giving it to him, man. Just had what am I going to do? Not get the shot? I can't go back up in the corner to be like, excuse me, y'all. I got to get the shot. <laughs> I'm in that freaking church just... Oh. Timmy Tutu, you know, like so. No. Yeah, if I, if, <laughs> I would have interrupted the mess out that one. He feels a gunshot, right, bro? <laughs> one accidental <laughs> slip, you just <laughs> it's a that way be problem. That interrupting right. the mess. But if that, that was the that'd world be, that'd that'd be we in, it would have been normal. So is that like that's what I'm saying? Is this like a present day thing, or is this like kind of a flip? Like just one day, it's just like gunshots sound like farts. That's been, that's been the normal for that's all of eternity. Normal. But like, here's the issue though, like. The, the power of a gunshot is that is so loud. Farts don't reach that same, you know, decibel, decibel but they will. <laughs> In this world. You know. Imagine you shoot off like, all right. <laughs> They're probably, at that point, kind of like on the TV shows. The shotgun like, Nobody over, would try bro. to fart in, in public. Absolutely not. Everybody has absolutely absolutely not. Cancer. I think people would right, just be. But imagine more. ducking a fart, though. Ducking when you hear fart noises. Oh. But, you, but that's, that's not a little outrageous. Gunshot, so you're not ducking. Man, I probably really oh, like, I, I can't get the, the I can't gun, go like the gun this. noise the is, gun a, is fart. a fart noise now. It's kind of a funny phrase to say. That. Oh, you said so duck when you hear the fart noise. Yeah, yes. you be stepping on a duck. Oh, so you just oh, ducking a shot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, for a, a, it would sound like that. Wet. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. it would make some serious situations kind of funny though. Yeah, and then it'd make lie to you. <laughs> Well, not really at the same time. I mean, yeah, I mean, at the same time, I'm like, dang, I'm really like, bro, bro, I'm leaking hear, now, but. You hear you know, a real just like disgusting, like. That I know it's it, bro. Like, you know it's over, bro. Yeah, that's it. That's how you go out. The fire noise. That's what I'm like, saying. I said earlier, I was like, I really don't want to go out like that. That's, Is bro. that a FAMAS? Oh my God, bro. Right. Oh God, bro. Get toast, bro. Three round burst farts. Off the desert eagle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that, that wasn't my right. real topic. I just wanted to. <laughs> he said, "I just wanted to te- just wanted to test the water and see how silly y'all really hey, were." Yeah, that was a good one, though. Okay, uh, but no, how has um, how has inflation affected y'all life? Um, when I graduated high school, like I already, I was already kind of mapping out my life, so I was telling myself how much money did I need to make to live the life that I want to live, or to at least. Finance, you know, Amazing. a good portion of it. Yeah, say something. So then Don't that, hit it. that amount of money was <laughs> seventy thousand dollars back in twenty sixteen, but then now that I understand the way that inflation works, seventy thousand in is now like a hundred and ten. So now that bar of where I'm trying to get to is moving oh. farther and farther away. So you know, I might get to the accomplishments that I've been looking for. It's like. It, it's not gonna feel the way that I envisioned because this my amount of money don't mean the same amount. So then. Yeah, so that's it's an interesting way to look at it. Yeah, it's changed my whole perspective on what kind of career I want to live because a seventy thousand dollar career and a hundred and twenty thousand dollar career are very, very different. Yeah, can so I? Now, what are you willing to sacrifice to live like you making seventy thousand in twenty sixteen yes. right now? I just want to add on to this because I've been harboring this, <laughs> this thought for so long oh. in the sen- in like the spirit of trying to be sensitive. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but along the same lines, I I feel like what we're seeing this is this is one we're at the immense and just dastardly just like we can't do anything about this because systems are in place and systems have been in place and unless we you know pull off a freaking coup then yeah there's nothing we can do about it which is we'll say that first but i (laughs) i feel like unfortunately we're at a place where everybody wants to be rich but because that bar is is just being extended the finish lines being extended a lot of people are not in spaces or in fields that are going to get them there True. and i feel like it's really kind of sad I, I feel like we're all on this like hamster wheel because thankfully <laughs> we got this you know this is something that could you know blow up you know, you know like share and subscribe of course <laughs> please but, thank you like genuinely i feel like yeah there's a lot of people like zach was saying like to what like how what sacrifices are you making like because yeah. we're at a place now largely due to inflation that those sacrifices have to be that much more severe like yeah, you have like you to miss out your, on this 
you have to yeah. e- maybe even live more frugally whatever like there's yeah. you really have to like you have to at this point and again it's not a matter of something given i'm not trying to say a hey man y'all not hustling hard enough for y'all it's it's the world that we're <laughs> living in right now it works, and actually. it's just like the quicker we accept that the quicker we can make a resolution we can make a resolution, but also the quicker we can d- like develop a better plan for like happiness is, is kind of what I've been thinking yeah, about in, is like, I think a lot of people need to either come to a certain realization that I'm not willing to make those sacrifices, which is okay. That's perfectly okay. If you don't want to give up this, this time, Family, this energy, time, every blah, blah, that blah, have. that's fine because it's just that hard to get rich and this, whatever. Like if you went to, to we touched on it a little bit before, if you went to school to be a teacher and you're fulfilled being a teacher, you're not going to be rich, but you're going to be happy and that's yeah. perfectly okay. But we can't, we can't be seeking happiness and stuff that's like too far fetched because of the system that we're in. Yeah. Like we can't just be like, oh, but I want to be rich. It's like, you're not doing anything that's going to get you rich. Yeah. Yeah. So let's stop chasing that and chase the fulfillment that you're yeah. going to find in what you're doing. So People. that's how I have think about inflation. It's very sad and unfortunate, but at the end of the day, I want to get rich. So I'm going to do what I got to do. So yeah. <laughs> that's just me though. <laughs> it's very ambitious to believe that the things that fulfill you and the things that will make you rich are will correlate. And it does for some people. But then again, those are one in a million, one in a trillion type situations. You can be that person, but you just know like, okay, I, I got to beat out these other billion. Mm-hmm. Right. But what, what are you but, doing to be that different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, can't, that you can't do what everybody else do and expect to be the exception to the rule. You can't be the outlier acting tradition. Yeah. So. I really be thinking about like how much money is really in the world. And like how much of this is actually like real money as that's not just like a digital you feel money. me like not even to get into the whole like it ain't real birds aren't real listen it's not that right now <laughs> but i mean like hats on. is it navita i think it's the the company that makes like i think computer chips nvidia yeah they're three trillion dollars now to mind. yeah like i think the owner of it is bigger worth than amazon bigger, bigger than, than everybody now so i'm just like bro how much money is actually in the freaking world <laughs> For at the same time, for us to be going through all this stuff now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's like, like what? Could, it's like, what could you even do with? Like, you can't even actually. spend. You can't even get that out anywhere. You like, can spend what? three trillion in several lifetimes, dude. Bro. Like, why? Do y'all think it should be like caps on how rich you could be? Yes. Yes, I don't know if I'll feel this way they if I was try, rich. They were trying, they be trying <laughs> to get. People, they be trying to get people to pay taxes, but. Or you just so, stop earning a certain there, amount. I don't a, know. If like, there was a cap to being rich, then. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the things that happen because of this surplus of money and then the need to change the value of a dollar wouldn't really occur anymore. Well, as long as inflation is a thing, people are only going to get richer and richer and Mm -hmm. richer. And that finish line is just going to keep on getting further and further and further. Yeah, like the cap should be be like... And this is trying to be like generous and not be like insane. I'm saying like, what's a good amount of money that you can live? How many billionaires can we have? Like I like I feel after after two billion, and that's just me just really just giving it to those people. After two billion, <laughs> there should be like yeah, there's no more that you can have. Like two billion is still crazy. It's yeah, insane. But I'm saying you know, but think about all those extra billions. Like if if that was just the limit right there, two billion. Just think about all those other billions and trillions that would now have some other place to go. Yeah, that would do at least another billionaire. Type or two. If that person monopolized <laughs> divvy, all divvy of two it, of them up. yeah, but just like the change that that'll create. Yeah, well, y'all started talking about being rich. I just want to talk about how I started growing my hair, and now I got to pay to go get braided and yeah. go to the barber shop and get a haircut. I feel you, bro. So heavy. I ain't, I didn't know. <laughs> bro, <laughs> ain't nobody tell me that. That's like, hefty, I had hefty, to sit that's in two a different chairs. I forgot. That's I was not thinking about that. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. That's why I, I started trying to so like, like tw- retwist my own hair. Just eventually, I, I just need to extend. I'm okay with paying it, but I, I need to spread it out at least, bro. Or try to get out of there. We can't do this once a possible. month, once every Look two weeks. No, nah, we need yeah. to. I'm gonna see you when I see you. It's gonna be a three. <laughs> I'll see you next quarter. That's how we. That's how we operate. And we go rock this wild look. That's a, me for a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let it go. Yeah, absolutely. It is nuts, to, especially like you said, the, the two appointments is crazy. No, nah. because that's that's a chunk and, of money. And the haircut already like for nine for most men, maybe like seventy five percent. That is the only grooming that they're doing. So that's another reason why they mm-hmm. like they're not really trying to cater to y'all who got two appointments to go to because they make it for that yeah. only. Uh, yeah, yeah really one, the one pop. Yeah, right. Like I'm not seeing you for at the at the minimum a week and a half. 
And a lot of people, I ain't seen you for a month. Up. Yeah, that's what it's like. We're locking it in. I need this fifty dollars. I need this fifty bones. Bro, that's me. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think outside of that, video games is definitely more expensive. That's that's been hurting me quite a bit recently. That's seventy. It's insane. Um, food. Insane. Has that been inflation though? Type B. They've always kind of just been seventy. No, what? they were for, oh, no. They was, fifty nine ninety five yeah, was 60. in max. Really? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely they, 60 was a 70 walmart and game before i got this playstation 5 i never spent 70 like full 70 in tax 70 on a game plus tax, yeah, yeah. Pay 70 for everything i mean now. a new a brand new game on a, a brand new game of yeah, yeah. A brand new triple a I'm I'm 80 dollars sometimes yeah like a new like madden or like, something what's that new mad bro that new uh <laughs> ncaa football yeah. that's gonna that's gonna take the world by storm bro it is though yeah games food um all types of stuff is, is the grocery gas. store, man. I've been eating like crap because, man, like no, that's not even real. like I'm it's not barely going cheaper grocery. anymore. I, I it's about the same. Mm-hmm. I swear, unless you're just stocking like a gerbil, like it's like I only eat or hunt deals, hunt sales. Yeah, yeah cool, I'm extreme cool ramen noodles, man. Seriously, so right? About it every day. Oh, gotta eat them I mean, legumes. <laughs> Why? You, all right, no jelly. Um, but I think it's gonna be like a rough month for me. I feel like I had to come out some cheese lately. You know what I'm saying? So that's me and May. I Enjoy. might have to do. A, I might have to crack that ramen noodle. There hey, you go. Saying, you know what I'm saying? This a, this a week. You know how much for money they save you? Real. You know how much money they save you? <laughs> and you, you know, you can, you can still like cook it up to throw, throw a little throw egg in there. Right. Throw that's egg a better there. alternative than some people just be like, hey, you know what? Sleep tastes Cereal. pretty darn good. Water. Hey. Drink some water, bro. <laughs> Type B, and that's that's not good for you either. For real. <laughs> please eat something. All right, bro. <laughs> y'all like? Have y'all ever done like a water fast? Not not by strictly choice. <laughs> kind of accident a little bit. No. <laughs> only only to get my blood drawn, and that ain't as long as what you talking about. Ooh, I guess how long is a typical water fast then? I don't know, maybe a month. Absolutely. Yeah, I've definitely not done. That. Never mind. What's, no. What's, what, how long would you water fast or like go without food? If if I gave you three days, man, I just really just gave you my all. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like willingly three until days? my head start hurting. Because the longest <laughs> maybe like a day. I get to maybe like a day. <laughs> we on a podcast. Yeah, I, don't think they I, could, I don't think I could go without eating food. For like forty eight hours, you know, I could see you be busy. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. you got some work. intermittent fasting. People yeah. just eat like that one meal a day. Now that, yeah, we do that. Well, I do. Well, hey, oh, I'm sorry. not proud of it, but shit happens. Sometimes like, you just don't have the time. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have time to eat. And that's bullshit, though. No, nah, right. <laughs> I know. I know. We talked about cousins before, but this that actually is bullshit. Please eat. All <laughs> right, bro. When you when you get 27, 28, 29, you gonna. Like realize how important it how important it is to eat breakfast, man, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> like for real. Listen, I I will listen to you about that breakfast because I, I just for sure don't day. care right now. Especially <laughs> if you especially if you're like on the move for real. Or you, yeah, you know what I'm saying you Work gotta kinda, do breakfast. I'm like I'll suffer till lunch, bro. Breakfast. It'd be all right. It will make breakfast. It's crazy. I fuck with breakfast heavy. I love. I mean, I love breakfast, but I it's don't. literally. Ugh. Your like your first piece, your, like your first amount of gas for the day. So, so it's yes, like if you really want to start your day, eat some breakfast and you are gonna feel Cereal way powerful. Type Cereal but it's like milk. I'll go. You know what I'm saying? I'll go half of my day. Now eat breakfast. Maybe eat lunch at like two or three. There we and go. Like I can tell the difference of how my day has been. <laughs> it's yeah. brighter. You feel better. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at your hands like, wow, bro. Like I really could do anything. <sighs> Yeah. Type B, man, I'm gonna start eating breakfast again. He Do inspired it. me, man. Little little even if it's like egg toast, something, dog. Yogurt, waffle, little <laughs> energy bar, or something. That's that's all, yeah, I stick yeah. with the protein shake and energy bar right now. That's all I got time yeah. for. But it's something. It's something. But like, why really cereal keep getting it? more expensive? Has it been? Really? Cereal I haven't purchased it in a while. I'm I believe it's about five thirty. Unfortunately, that is nuts. No, it's Sheesh. it's ridiculous. And the boxes keep getting smaller, bro. I'm Skinnier. You get less. You get less. That's you get real, less cereal, that bro. Is true. I get like, the family size. There you go. That's I mean, a dollar more for the regular size. Bulk, man. You can't just be buying out in bulk, bro. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you get, you might as well just. Don't get that be crazy? Size. You see some that just be. 50 cent where he'd be like ah you like man I can't pass that deal Don't up leave, bro. bro I'm definitely a person like peanut butter bro come on why are you getting a smaller size peanut butter you know you finna go through that you gotta just get the biggest one Every you time. You, even though through. you don't wanna pay that extra dollar you paying for half deal. the size for 
a dollar less, like you just wasted. You see time. that buy two get one free? You like, come on, man! I got you for free. free. You like, come on, bro! To. The bread, the bread finna expire. I'm talking. I gotta grab two loaves. Got to, <laughs> oh bro. God. Bread, bread expires so fast. More sandwiches yes. this week. Oh, I'm God. surprised Save a Lots ain't jumping right now. You know what I'm saying? All these probably took over Save a Lot mm-hmm. route. Yeah, true. Yeah, they probably inherited there. I don't know. I don't see what's so unorganized in Save a Lot. And second all, it's two Save a Lot still. That's where you from? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know I'm from Flint? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's real different up there, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How sweet. <When> they, <laughs> as soon as they said you was from Flint, I'm like, I understand. He said, I get it. He said, I, I get, get it, it, bro. It. I get it. Yep. That's real. And that's probably a good time to rap. I'm not going to lie. Do it. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that is the intro, too, and I'm wrapping it up. All right, somebody else do it. I'm finna say, help man. me out. We finna wrap it up, man. Hey! Episode 110 <laughs> yeah. with my boy Zip. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Glad he can come through, bruh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling good, man, about the about this episode. This, this definitely... Uh, I'm solid. Man. This was this one for sure, bro. It's it's one of your hosts Ten. with the most yeah. wavy J man. Continue to tap in with us, man. Twitch, you know what I'm saying? We rocket league in like crazy. Gotta get back on the brawl. I missed it last time it was playing. Yeah. Um YouTube. Yeah, multi- you know what I'm saying? And our gaming channel, YouTube. True. Tap in, like, True. comment, subscribe. Uh, check us out on Apple Podcast, Spotify, everything. Wow, you doing the whole rundown? Go crazy. I'm saying, man, huh. we, we we global. You Might know what I'm saying? Pull we, up we, to yeah. the Discord too. He's come to the well. Discord. You know what I'm well. saying? Money. Shout out Troy. You've been you've been tapping in, in the music section. I really got yeah, to put some more stuff. Yeah, for sure. Like, oh, it's stuff I'm trying to do, man. You don't you don't know. Don't, a lot hey. of stuff is gonna come to fruition. That's all I'm gonna say. And I'm with that. I'm gonna say uh, March third month. Troy, I'm out of here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful uh, week. Until I see you next. Or until you see me next. I don't know. Uh, stay tuned for uh, cool uh, content that's coming, I will say. And yeah. that's all I'm going to say about that, oh, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of cool, I would say, guests and other things we have planned uh, that you will see shortly. We got special features. We got bonus features. Bro. Uh, so like yeah. the- Check out the rest of the stuff. You feel me? And no, please, 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 yes, go and follow, join. Uh, share all that stuff all of our content please still we really appreciate it we appreciate all the love I think we're 10 away from 400 on YouTube yeah we're at 10 or 20 away so listen share it with somebody please because we're trying to hit that and yeah thank you I'm out Benjamin Lane signing out. All I got to say is, hey, join the Wholesome House call. You know, I we'll know keep you. That, we'll keep we you keep company. You we'll keep you hey, man. <laughs> you belong here. Well, okay. Dude, we were, we were just like you at one we point. We were not a just cult. like you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hey. You see what we got going here? This could be all yours. We're the next too. Could, bro. Oh, God. Until you next be a part time. Of that. <laughs> Uh, Zebra is hunting out. I am not the leader. This is this is all I can't. <laughs> when you see us in the Zach Tees, you'll know. <laughs> um, we gotta be yeah, man. Stay now. hydrated. Drink your water, man. Uh, excited to have my man's here, man. Second off, yes, full connection. Yeah, here we go. That just warmed my heart at the very end of the episode. But yeah, Zebra's yeah, yeah we, we the seven, we the seventy five North boys. Hey, you, <laughs> you, know <what> <laughs> you said so, y'all don't get that. Yeah, but <laughs> that's over the head. But uh, yeah, it's your boy Zeb signing out. Um, Appreciate y'all for having me. This was really dope. You know what I'm nice. saying? I love to come here and just, I love to just have good conversation. And I think that's what make y'all, you know, special thank at you, thank you. this in particular. Thank you know you, what sir. I'm saying? Of course, thank y'all going to go out and do your own things. Y'all got your own things. But make sure y'all keep this going because y'all got a good run. And, thank yeah, you. stay tight. You want to plug yeah. anything? Or? Yeah. I could. Uh, <laughs> Don't mind if I do. But, yeah, follow me. As for Zip, that's A S K, the number four Z I P. Um, I'm gonna be dropping some music really, 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 hey. really, 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 really soon. Hey, and like I said. Uh, I'm turning 30. Life experiences is different. Okay. So like, I finally feel like I'm arriving to some, to some, you know, a different destination. Wow. Um, but yeah, mess with me. F with me. FWM. I don't know what's appropriate to say on camera <laughs> on this want, microphone, man. but yeah, fuck with me. I'm gonna say that. There now. we go. All right. Yeah, yeah. fuck yes. with us. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> fuck are. with us. <laughs> All right, listen. Yeah.